So right now I feel all the ender rooms are same. And then I found out a unique Android OS called Ancient OS. So Ancient OS is based on Android 10 and it will completely change the look of your phone. And guess what? It's available for many Android phones. So let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about the visuals. When you slide down your QS panel for first time, you will see some changes to stock Android. For example, time and date is in the middle and it's in different color. Now this color will depend on what accent color you choose in this room. And here you can see if your phone is on vibrate mode or silent mode. Brightness slider is changed too, it's on the top. And it looks more like Samsung One UI style and not the stock Android, but this looks good. Also in the QS panel few tiles I added of course for gaming FPS info which is now usual you get in many Android rooms like Chorus OS but have a look at this screen recorder. It is really different than Chorus OS. It let you select your resolution, your bitrate, your frame rate and audio which is really important for gamers. So in this screen recorder you can record your internal audio as well as your system audio too. Also, I like this floating screen widget so I can stop my screen recording whenever I want. So whenever you scroll down your QS panel, background app will be automatically blurred. I wish they implement this feature in Android 11 also. So the custom icon you are seeing on my home screen actually came with ancient OS. I didn't make any changes in my OS so I can show you what kind of layout you get when you install this room for very first time. The launcher here is called Ancient X, you don't get much features, but at least you can hide and protect your apps. I mean I would definitely hide my Reddit app, who wouldn't? Now let's dive into setting menu. Here you can see this ancient design in the background of your setting menu. You will see this design doesn't matter which options you go inside. To be honest, it actually looks good and it goes with the theme. Let me show you what makes this room completely unique. If you scroll down, you will see the Xiaomi parts. Now this will depend on which phone you are using. If you are using Asus Zen phone, then you will see Zen parts here. If you are using OnePlus phone, then you will see OnePlus parts here. So the amazing thing about this room is that you can make system level changes in these Xiaomi parts. You can control your vibration intensity, your torch intensity, you can change your display color using KKL. You can keep your CPU to low, medium and high. If you want to save some battery life, this is the easiest option to go. Same goes for GPU. You can also limit your CPU cores. You can choose how many CPU cores you want to be active while using your phone. You can configure your sound setting. Basically you can tweak your audio so you can have better music listening experience. Also you can change the intensity of your volume keys when you press up and down. Now other rooms provides device specific features but this is honestly on next level. In the themes and customization, you will see more clocks are added. I chose this clock because it looks good for my last screen. So more clocks and more themes will be added via update in the future. Now ancient OS would have been perfect room if it came with Gcam pre-install. But still this camera is really good, it got HDR options and it's definitely better than your stock MIUI camera. So as you can see this is Ancient OS 3.8 and the Android security is 5th July. You get this custom kernel called Smoky Kernel pre-installed in this room and that's why if you are into kernels you don't need to install anything else. Because this Smoky Kernel will satisfy your gaming needs as well as it will provide you good battery life. Almost got 7 hours of screen on time and the standby time is great also if you leave your phone 100% in the night, in the morning you will find around 97%, so only 3% battery drain overnight. I normally don't keep many apps in my phone, so it can totally depend on you. So now let's talk about the main features. You get all the features in this tab called Ancient Features. So here you will find almost all kind of features and customization that you would require from a custom room. But still, my personal favorite features are these rounded corners and in the battery setting this smart charging option. With the smart charging option, you can actually extend the lifespan of your battery. Apart from that, you get dedicated gaming mode and also this feature called Smart Pixels. If you enable Smart Pixels, you actually get half an hour or maybe hour of extra battery life. 
Other features are usual and common in almost all the Android homes like status bar, quick setting, power menu, you can customize your lock screen and animations. So I have been using this room for last two days and I didn't face any problem that stopped you from using this room as your daily driver. So I think you should definitely check this out if you are into new things. If you appreciate my work, please like this video, it really helps this channel. And if you understand Hindi and want to check out my Indian channel, I will drop a link for that in description box below.